Hi, this is Miss Cotton. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the Lash and Brow Tint application. First, we're going to need some supplies, and I'll tell you about the products and equipment we'll also need. The supplies for your Lash and Brow Tint application are as follows. Uh, we'll need a headband, hairnet, head covering, hand towel, disposable mixing product cup, a timer, a spatula, disposable mascara wands, cotton swabs, protective eye pads, and table paper. The products needed for this demonstration are eye makeup remover, protective cream, lash and brow tint, and the equipment. You'll need a magnifying lamp, a facial bed, a stool, and a tray. In preparation for the service, I have cleaned, sanitized, and disinfected my work area according to the manufacturer's directions. I've dispensed all products needed for the service using the proper protocol, and I've placed a disposable table paper on the bed. Now's the time to perform my hand washing procedure. I've now greeted my client and escorted her to the work area, assessed her needs and preferences, reviewed the consultation form for any allergies or contraindications, such as inflamed, infected, or broken skin in the area to be worked on. I've determined that the client is a candidate for this service. My client is now prepared to receive the service. I've assisted the client onto the bed, applied the head covering, placed it over her hair and her ears, and rolled a towel and placed that under her neck for support. Now my client is prepared for her service. I've performed the hand washing procedure and applied my gloves. Now I'm going to apply eye makeup remover to two cotton rounds and place them on the client's closed eyes. I'm going to apply eye makeup remover to another cotton round to cleanse the brows. Hold the opposite side of the brow with the thumb of your free hand and apply downward pressure and cleanse from the outer brow to the inner brow. Repeat on the opposite brow. Discard your cotton pad. Double brace while wiping the eye area, working in a downward sweeping motion to cleanse the lashes and the lids. Clean under the eye area from outside to inside. Three passes each eye. Do not tug the eyes or the eyelids. Repeat as necessary. Discard the cotton pad and allow to dry for two minutes. Using a disposable mascara wand, brush the brows in the direction of the hair growth to ensure that they are cleansed.
Retrieve the protective cream from the container using a clean spatula. Apply to a cotton swab. Apply the protective cream directly around the brows to protect the surrounding skin. Do not touch the brow hair. Discard the cotton swab. Now apply the protective cream to another cotton swab. to protect the eye area. Apply it underneath the eye area. Avoid getting the product in the eyes. Discard the cotton swab. Place protective pads under the eyes, directly over the protective cream as close to the lash line as possible. I've mixed my lash and brow tint according to manufacturer's directions. Now I'm going to apply the lash and brow tint. Dipping my brush or my cotton swab into the tint. Remove the excess. And I'm going to carefully apply the product to the lashes in a downward motion until lashes are evenly coated. Ensure not to get any of this product into the client's eyes. I'll let this process according to the manufacturer's directions and discard my cotton swab. To remove my lash tint, I'm going to use a damp cotton pad and I'm going to apply in a downward motion with a light hand. I'm going to repeat this three times. And I'm going to discard the cotton pad. For my brow tint application, I'm going to dip the cotton swab into the tint and remove the excess. Now I'm going to carefully apply the product to the brows in the direction of the hair growth, evenly coating the hair. Careful not to get the product in the client's eyes. I'm going to allow this to process according to the manufacturer's directions and discard the applicator. Now I'm going to remove the brow tint with a damp cotton pad and an outer movement with a light hand. I'm going to repeat this, moving in both directions until all excess product is removed. I'm going to discard the cotton pad and remove the cotton protective pads from underneath the client's eyes and discard them. Now that the service is complete, 
I've discussed the maintenance and aftercare and answered any questions my client may have. I've discarded all single use items, placed my implements in a closed to be disinfected container. My soil linen has been placed in a closed container until laundered. I'm going to clean and disinfect my work area by identifying the proper cleaning agents and reading and following the manufacturer's directions for mis mixing and usage. I'm going to wipe down my workstation with a cleaning solution to remove any debris, identifying the disinfectant that is bactericidal, viricidal, fungicidal, and EPA approved for use in the salon setting. Following the manufacturer's directions for mixing using the appropriate disinfectant, I'll disinfect any equipment and store it in a clean area separate from other implements. At this time, I'll remove my gloves and perform the hand washing procedure.